Right, well, thanks for joining us after the show. And we didn't get a enough chance to finish talking about the high <coughs> tackling um, and the refereeing around it and the difference between the North and Southern Hemisphere. So we've got a couple of examples of uh, some of the cars that have been metered out and it seems more cars are being given out in the North than in the South. Um, I'm pretty sure that if that was a Super Rugby match, John, who wouldn't have been a card? Yeah, look, um, and, and that again, that's where, you know, the player goes down. Um, the Welsh player is in a difficult position. He doesn't really have control over that and uh, and gets a card. Same thing here, a little bit unlucky, over the shoulder, uh, you know, across the shoulder and the neck, card. Um, and this one, you know, I think this is a good opportunity or example of he makes the tackle, yeah. you know, ball's gone, but then he continues on with the mm -hmm. tackle and that causes it to be a cardable offence. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, whereas if he made the tackle, mm. stop there, mm. you know, th that's where we talk about controlling yeah. the situation. Yeah. You know, stop there, pulled out and, and put went it on safely. and put it in, or put it on safely, uh, oh. which is very difficult. Though. <laughs> but then he would have been, uh, probably would not have been carded. So maybe it's, it's, it comes now in terms of tackle technique. Uh, how do you go about it, getting yourself in the right position? I mean, we spoke to Braz, Braz was talking about hips, looking at the hips and making sure that you stay to those targets. But then it's quite difficult sometimes, X, you get beaten and you over track and then your arm sticks out. Yeah. And then, and then those are the kind of like contentious, I guess, those ones which are accidental. A couple of seasons ago, we were talking about the differences in refereeing in the North versus the South. We know that when it comes to internationals, the refereeing pool is from all over. Uh, is there still such a thing as a difference in refereeing? Well, there, there is a difference because even the conditions are different. And, and you, you, the tendency in the, in the uh, overseas is that the breakdown is played kind of differently. Um, you find, I, find, I find that most of the time they're slowing the ball down with not even uh, player not supporting his body weight uh, and, and, and I, th I think the southern hemisphere is much more friendly in terms of okay fine we want to see continuity play and uh, there's much more lenience I think for on the breakdown then probably the lenience is what has um, been passed on to to the tackling because referees sometimes do understand that you can hit somebody and have this tackle slide up but as far as I understand even that though it might not be your fault is a cardable offence. Yeah, look, um, I think it's two ways. One, uh, when you talk about the tackling techniques and, and, and tackling as such and the, and the offences that occurs, um, you need to be you're co conscious of your situation, the, the position you're in, mm. um, and then what you're doing in that situation. So I think that's important from a player point of view. Mm. From a preparation point of view, I think it's the same, the same way you prepare for different teams the same way you prepare for different referees mm, as well. Mm. Yeah, there's tendencies um, with the referees, you know, they, how they adjudicate and how they see um, breakdowns, etc., sure. etc. And you need to be able to adapt to that. So, so the work's actually done um, beforehand, and then you test them. You test them in a game and see yeah. how far you can push it. How, how, and difficult, then, is, how difficult is it to change your tackle technique? I well, mean, as a player... Well, the tackle technique is something... That, that's a pre-season thing, you yeah. know. That, that, that takes... It, it I mean, takes, it takes a while. I mean, you look at it, I mean, the, you can... You can do the chop tackles, you kill momentum, and then you get your, your fetches into the game. So by, by sh tackling lower, might actually help in a way. Yeah. yeah, I think what we what we are seeing though is is where you are trying to make a positive tackle. The attacking player, the player with the ball, actually is in a position where it's very difficult for you to get a dominant tackle sure. without actually you know, touching this area. Yeah. And, and that, I think, is where, yeah. uh, where the inconsistency probably comes in. We should have really had Butch James with us, dude. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Butch, we Coat love hangers. Oh, Butch's oh. tackles were legal. All of them. All of them. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for um, watching and joining. And uh, add your comment as well and suggestions here on Facebook of what you'd like us to talk about. Make sure you don't miss First 15 every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. And, of course, all the rugby this weekend, um, courtesy of your World of Champions, is going to be a rocking Super Rugby weekend. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Are you at Loftus? I'm at Loftus. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs>